So this is a maglev system that I built for one of my classes in school. Um, we've got a, uh, an electromagnet here and there's a, a light source on this side with a high intensity LED and there's a CDS photocell on this side and that measures how much light comes across. So as a, uh, something is placed here uh, under the magnet it blocks uh, part of the light and the height of the object can be measured by how much light is blocked. That, uh, that's read in by this microcontroller and uh, the microcontroller outputs a signal to this power amplifier which then powers the magnet. Uh, and there's a regulator here for the LED. So the this uses a PD controller, so there are two terms to uh, the, the uh, pulse width modulation signal that goes to the electromagnet. Uh, the proportional term increases the magnetic field as uh, the object drops and decreases it as the object rises. The derivative term uh, acts on the speed of the object, so if the object uh, is dropping, uh, it increases the magnetic field and if it's rising it decreases the magnetic field and that helps to uh, to damp out oscillations. So zooming in here on the uh, electromagnet you can get a better view. I'm going to insert a steel ball under the magnet and as soon as I break this light beam the microcontroller will see that there's something there and it's going to try to support it. So. There we go. You can see that it oscillates a bit. And if you listen carefully, you may be able to hear that uh, there's sort of a crackling noise. And that's the, the current changing in, in the, uh, the electromagnet. So here's a tighter view. You can see it bouncing around a little bit. If I implemented, uh, re-implemented a uh, hardware differentiator, this would probably smooth out quite a bit. I'll try a different size ball. This one's a little smaller. This one bounces around a little bit more. Here's a little plastic vial filled with uh, steel wool. So this one is, is interesting because as I rotate it, you see that it, it hangs sort of off to the side like this. It doesn't hang straight up and down. Um, so if I rotate it, it will, as it, uh, as it rotates, um, the amount of light blocked will change and because of that the the object will actually move up and down So I'll give it a little bit of a spin And I'll zoom out so you can see I'm not actually holding it <laughs> 